So in a previous video I talked about using a fire steel to light fires. An alternative to a fire steel, while not as good for a number of different reasons, is matches. Now learning how to use matches is a valuable skill, but they don't work well when wet unless you get the waterproof mas matches. Um, they are something that you only get that many matches so they are expendable so you can run out and generally they they don't have as good a um, consistency as a fire steel. Fire steel you might need more effort to get to actually catch a spark but you'll always get the same sort of sparks the same technique. So when you're using a match you want to hold it pretty close to the head. If you hold it any further back you need to snap it in half. And then you're just going to use a firm motion. Pull. Now if you hold it sideways and cut it from the wind, that's where it has the longest burn. If you hold it with a point downwards, then you get the flames licking up towards your finger and it burns through the match quicker. So, show it again. You typically want to get it below whatever you want to light. You typically have longer than you think before your match burns out, so try to rush too much. If you're doing with this with children, teaching children, which I think is valuable because it teaches quite a bit about fire safety and kind of the dangers of fire without exposing them to really hot or large flames. So if you're using children I would recommend starting off with longer handled matches, so longer matches, safety matches, and trying to go for a thicker match. So that way it could be held a bit further back, away from the fingers, used to light all the same. So that's pretty much how to light match. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.